All right, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Kurt, and welcome back to Walt Disneylanders. Hope you guys have been enjoying your stay this far. Hope you guys have been having a good time. Hope you're staying safe. This is week number four of the DDL. We are taking on Karthik, coach of the Baltimore Barracudas. So if you guys are excited for today's VGC live VGC Wi-Fi battle, please hit the like button and subscribe button as we do a lot of draft league content around here. But DDL news, DDLs are doubles Wi-Fi draft league. And uh, we have been getting a little bit molly We took a dub week one, and we haven't won since. So we really want to bounce back. But Karthik, I believe, is 3-0 and right now, doing very well in the league. And uh, apparently he's a very good VGC player. So we have our work cut out for us this week. Um, I'm not going to lie. I It's been a while since I built this team. Um, I built this team a little bit back. So I don't fully remember the ins and outs of everything. Um, but we're going to try and remember it as we go. So Karthik's team should be popping up just below me right about now. Consists of the Galarian Moltres, Reggie Alecki, Spectreer, Whimsicott, Reggie Rock, Cobalion, Comfey, Crocodile, Drampa, Magmortar, and Walrein. So, looking at his team, scary threats include the Moltres because that thing Dynamaxing does a lot of damage. Reggie Alecki because it's a lot better in doubles than it is in singles. But I have two ground types. So, uh, Spectreer is very scary because it's just horse dog that goes burr. Uh, Whimsicott's like the most annoying mon in the format in doubles. Reggie Rock is a really good like weakness policy kind of sweepy boy. I had it uh, had it once in like a little showdown thing I did. It was pretty fun. Uh, Cobalion, another justified user. We played one last week in the Terrakion and we played Cobalion. Um, Comfey, don't really know what it does. Crocodile, don't really know what it does in doubles other than just what it would do in singles. Drampa don't know what it does. Magmortar doesn't know what it does. Walrein doesn't know what it does. All right, so now that we have a highly educated team analysis, let's get into our highly educatedly built team. Um, I don't know if Pino helped me with this one or not. I don't fully remember. Maybe 504 did. I don't remember. It's been a while. I, I'm sorry. Uh, so we got Pascal, our Dreadnought with Liquidation, Rock Slide, Superpower, and Protect. We are just regular Dreadnought, not Dynamax, because we want to. Oh no, we are. Are we regular Dynamax? I don't remember. Ah uh, no, no. Oh, let me see. Can I check in summary if I'm Dynamax or not? I am Dynamax, I'm sorry. We are Dynamax Dreadnought because he goes crazy. Uh, I believe we also have the manual rain. We don't have manual rain. All right, so we're just rocking out with Dreadnought, doing the Dreadnought thing. With Liquidation, Rock Slice, Superpower, and Protect, we set it up with our Politoed. Basically, this thing just goes crazy. Uh, set up, it really, he doesn't really deal with this mon super, super well. Uh, it kind of just claims kills, especially if we can helping hand it with our Politoed. We have uh, Politoed, Kermit the Frog with Protect, Helping Hand, Scald, and Icy Wind. Scald as a single attack, it can burn stuff like Reggie rock and Cobalion. Icy Wind is there to lower Spectreer, Moltres, Drampa, Cobalion, Speed Dive like that. Uh, Windscott as well, just to lower the speed set because he does have a lot of fast threats. So if we can lower them down for stuff like Mammal Swine or Talonflame or Dreadnought, we are in a great spot. This is also here to set up the rain for our Dreadnought. Next up, we got Sherwood, our Tangrowth with the Rage Powder, Sludge Bomb, Giga Drain, and Focus Blast. Again, with the Rage Powder because we got to stop that Focus um, beat up shenanigans. So the idea with this actually is just to red card out his Pokemon. Um, if we get hit, like the idea is if they power play into the Cobalion and the Cobalion attacks into Tangrowth, then the red card will just shoot it out and we don't have to worry about that boost anymore. That's the idea with this. Um, should I have tried it last week? Probably. Do I think this will work? Probably not. <laughs> but I think it's just an out to uh, kind of stupid proof myself against a, uh, a setup Gobalion. Sludge Bomb is there for the Whimsicott. Giga Drain is there just for general step hit Regirock and stuff. And focus. Oh, that's the other thing is it Rage Powders out a weakness policy, Regirock. And since weakness policy only pops once, if it's gone, it's gone. And then Focus Blast is there to hit the Gobalion for harder damage. Next up, we got Iago, our Talonflame with will o -Wisp, Tailwind, Fire Blast, and Overheat. This is kind of just Sash beginning. This is Sash lead to guarantee we don't lose the Cobalion off rip. Uh, basically, we... Fuck off. Uh, basically, we uh, we send this thing out. We get a burn on the Cobalion. And uh, we no longer have to worry about it because Burn Cobalion hits like a uh, like a wet noodle. Tailwind is there to boost our Mammal Spine, our Dreadnought. We don't have the rain up, stuff like that. Fire Blast is there to single... Uh, why do we have Fire Blast and Overheat? I don't remember why we have both if i'm being 100 percent honest with you i think it's just to pick up ko's uh if we don't have the lower special back i really don't remember and i don't know why we're not heat wave over it i'm gonna be 100 percent honest that might just be like a stupid idea in prep but we're gonna go with it anyways next up we got figaro our alolan persian with snarl gunk shot charm and foul play this is our spectrier don't hurt me too badly uh check snarl to lower special attacks of it and the moltres just get that spectacular lowered 
Gunk Shot is there for the Whimsicott. Foul or a Charm is there for the Cobalion to give me an out because like we live one from full if it's not set up. So if we can like not if we can charm it at least i'm not completely useless against the cobalion and the foul play is there to hit said cobalion if it has a lot of uh if it has a lot of boosts we can hit it with a foul play and it'll do a lot of damage it also just gives me an attacking move against spectrier which will do a good amount of damage not nothing crazy but it's still two shot spectrier unless he is a fairly bulky spec and last but not least we have assault vest mammal swine with icicle crash ice shard earthquake and rock tomb uh, Mammal Swine's dual stabs do really good here. Um, they go pretty much unresisted. They pretty much go everyone's weak to it except for Wall Rain. Um, everyone except Wall Rain, Comfe, and Spectrier are weak to Mammal Swine's dual stabs, which Spectrier and Comfe don't want to take the hits anyway. And Wall Rain, I don't know what it does. So we're just going to pretend that Wall Rain's not there. Um, Crash really do does good. Earthquake, we do have um, a lot of mons that aren't. Uh, safe from Earthquake, but you don't have Protect. I think Person's the only one that's not safe. You uh, are a Flying type. You are a Grass type. You have Protect. You have Protect. So, like, it's only really Persian that's in trouble of an Earthquake, and we're not bringing that Grassy terrain, so we don't have to worry about that. Icicle Crash does nice damage. I believe Icicle Crash does both targets, if I remember correctly, but I could be wrong on that. Ice Shard is there for last minute priority, and Rock Tomb is there for speed control on the Spectre, the Cobalion, the Whimsicott, in case we can't actually kill them, but we do need to lower their speed for something else in the back. So that's kind of the idea there. We didn't really need Rock Side for damage. We just wanted it more for rock for speed control. So also the Mulch as well for speed control. So that is our squad going into it. Uh, Karthik is a very solid player, and I believe he is uploading the season as well, which should be linked down below. Um, so yeah, be sure to go check him out. And with that, I'm gonna go transition to the battle and I will be right back. All right, so here we are, we're connected with Karthik in the battle. He opted to bring Whimsicott, Spectrier, Crocodile, Drampa, Regirock, and Comfey. No Cobalion is really nice. No Regieleki is super nice. And no G Moltres is super nice. Um, so it looks like he prepared for the rain. I don't know what Drampa does. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I don't know what Drampa does. Um, even in singles, I barely know what the thing does. So rain kind of goes crazy here. Like just straight up, rain goes kind of nutty. Um, Tangrowth actually is kind of nice. Not gonna lie, I think it could be really fire tech, especially for game one. I kind of want a Tangrowth because the idea with Tangrowth is to force out Regirock. So I could Tangrowth. I don't want a Talon Flame. I could Tangrowth Persian. Ah, uh, but then I'm going to exit. Like. I don't see anything wrong leading Tangrowth Talonflame because it stops that Regirock lead and then with Rain in the back. Let's try it. Yeah, sure. What's the worst that happens? What's the worst that happens? Um, yeah, it, like I explained in the team builder, probably it's been a clusterfuck. So uh, good luck from the Karthik. I think he has links. If he does, it'll be linked down below. If not, then uh, there will be some sort of like happy face or a duck or something. I don't know. But nonetheless, ooh, we're in the cool stadium. Okay. Oh, we're not even in a stadium. We're just outside. Whimsicott Spectrier. All right. Well, this is less than ideal. Um, it's not bad, but it's less than ideal. Uh, so I could see some sort of Tailwind Protect or like a Tailwind Nasty Plot or like a Shadow Ball coming to murder my face. I kind of like Sludge Bomb Fire Blast, or just, I kind of like Sludge Bomb Overheat into, like, just separating the attacks, because that nukes the fuck out of Spectrier, and then Whimsicott should drop unless it's Sash, which I expect it to be, so we can just drop that Spectrier. I could also double the Spectrier, but this covers a potential Protect Tailwind as well, so I kind of like just splitting up the attacks here. He, okay, he's just gonna go for it, you just go in nuts to the wall dynamax spectrier because i don't really have ghost resists that makes sense yeah that okay that one made sense so probably tailwind g max horse if i had to guess oh i didn't bring the dark type. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh oh boys this is bad i didn't bring the dark type against the spectrier we're fucked <laughs> that's not good max phantasm into tangro oh wait live 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 no if i live then we red carded it out ah oh, man that's that's less than ideal that's less than ideal um, yeah, so I really didn't expect G Max Horsey of all things. Uh, there were there were a lot of Dynamax captains. Horsey was not what I was expecting. It's Life Orb, Overheat. That's gonna do nothing. Oh boy. Oh boy. That was a crit too. Oh boy. Yeah, this is not good. This is not good. And Moonblast into the Talonflame. Okay. 
Um, so, less than ideal. Less than, uh, oh, okay. Well, I didn't want my special attack anyways. I didn't want it anyways, so. I think I have to go into Politoed because we're Drizzle. And then I can, like, protect and just hope Talonflame fucking dies. <laughs> I think that's my play, is just Talonflame fucking dying. Um, because I don't see how else I'm supposed to get Dreadnought in. Other than just Talonflame fucking getting yeeted off of the planet, so. If I had to get- I can protect- I'm gonna protect Overheat in the Whimsicott because if he attacks Talonflame, that's what I want. If it attacks Talonflame, that's what I want. And if he attacks into the Politoed, we'll eat it up and then we get the attack off with the, uh, with the Talonflame into the Whimsicott. Which won't kill because we're in the rain and we're minus three. But it'll do damage to the Whimsicott breaking its Sash so that way we don't have to worry about a Sash Whimsicott. That's the that's the plan here at least. That's the that's the thinking happening in my mind. I kind of wish I brought the dark type. I feel like the dark type would be very useful right about now. There's the tailwind, so that's bad. That's bad. As uh, out comes the phantasm into the town flame. This is fine because we die. We died. And I probably should have set up Tailwind last turn. I feel like I could have played this a lot better. I'm going to be 100% honest. I feel like I knew this was a bad lead, and I did it anyways. So we're... It's it's all good in the hood. Spectre is plus two. I think we just lose to Spectre because, you know, horsey. Because, <laughs> you know, horses and stuff. As what we can do... Let's think about this. So. Dreadnought comes out. It's going to be faster than us because Tailwind... I think it has two more turns of Tailwind, right? Yeah, oh, it has three turns of Tailwind, all right. I think I have to Icy Wind into Max, Max Dynamax Rock thing. And then, I don't know. I don't know, I don't think I, there's any universe where I even get a kill in this game. I, I did half to one Pokemon in this set. Let's go! Um, I don't even think I get a kill right here. I'm gonna be 100% honest. I can stall as much time as I want. I don't think I'm gonna get a kill. We just big turtle. Uh, he's big Yertle the turtle. That would've been a fire name, Yertle the turtle. But oh well. Oh, my nickname didn't even save. This is tragic. Man, this is tragic. We just protect. Whatever. Um, Spectre, use Max Quake. Please don't use Mud Slap. Please stop using Mud Slap on me. That's not cool. Please stop doubling into my horsey dog t turtle thing. It's not cool. We broke the stash at Whimsicott, and the Dynamax Spectreer is no longer Dynamaxed. So we have that going for us. We have that going for us now. As we can... Uh, if I get a second Icy Wind up... Okay, so if I get a second Icy Wind off, and Dreadnought's still alive, they'll be able to speed the Spectreer. But I don't think we're going to live. Because <laughs> I don't think Max Guard... You can double, so I think I have to helping hand and kill- Well, I don't even have to helping hand, I can just kill the Spectreer and then Scald- No, I can just Icy Wind. Right? I can just Icy Wind and then Max Rockfall into the- No, I can Stone Surge into the Spectreer, right? Because I- I'm going to die anyways. So I think that's just what my best play would be. Mudshot, we live? Yay, we live! He didn't click Shadow Ball. That was nice of him. Because he lowered my speed. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. We got a kill, at least. We got a kill, at least. There's that. We got a kill. It, that's all that matters. We got a kill. That's all that matters. Die, horsey, die. Okay, we killed the horse. Is it winnable? Fuck no. <laughs> Not a chance in hell is this winnable. But we killed the horsey. So, oh my god. We're so low. We're so low. Politoed. Okay, so this thing's minus two speed. And got some good chip on it. And the Tailwind should only have one turn left. I mean, we might be able to take this down to like a 1-0 if we're if we're lucky. We might be able to. Um, what have we learned? Let's let's think about what we've learned going into next game. We've learned that Horsey is mean when it Dynamaxes, and I was not ready for it. Uh, Whimsicott has Tailwind and Moonblast. Uh, Horsey has Mudshot, and uh, that's about it. <laughs> that's about it. I've kind of just done nothing <laughs> this entire game. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so bad at doubles. I'm so bad at doubles, bro. This shit's not even funny. <laughs> this shit's straight up not even funny. Um, oh, and you're Intimidate. Okay, you're just not fun. You're just you're just straight up ruining my turtle. So what I could do... I feel like you're not Scarf Intimidate. I really don't. So I could just pick up the kill 
into the crocodile, but then I don't kill Whimsicott. Ah, I'm going to die. I'm going to die this turn. What leaves me the better chance at winning? And I think it's honestly leaving Polyhood alive. So I think I scald into the crocodile and stone surge into the Whimsicott and kind of just hope that Politoed can somehow win. Protect, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, Moonblast into my frog! Into my froggy! No, froggy. Okay, stone surge, kill the, kill the thing, kill the Whimsicott. That's dead. Progress, progress, progress. Okay, so my thinking is, right, because he didn't attack into the Dreadnought. So if we can, we're still in the rain. We're at minus one, but we're still in the rain. And their Tailwind is gone. Okay, okay, okay. We might be able to pull something out of our ass here. Regirock. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, 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 okay. I, 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 caramba. Um, I protect with the Dreadnought. Right? No, I'm faster. I'm faster than everything. So what do I have a better chance? Okay. I, I helping hand, no, no, no. I helping hand, trust, trust, trust. I helping hand liquidation into the crocodile. The crocodile dies. Regirock probably kills off my Dreadnought. So then it's Politoed versus Regirock, which I don't think I win, but he's not Dynamax, so I might have a chance. I think that's my best chance at winning. I think. I think that's my best chance at winning. I think. And if not, then fuck. Protect. That's not cool. I didn't like that. I straight up did not enjoy that, sir. Go away. Yes! Progress! Die, Crocodile! Yes! <laughs> progress! That crit did not matter. You were a Crocodile, sir. You were a Crocodile. That did not matter. Uh, and then probably Earthquake into my Dreadnought, right? Earthquake. Rock Slide. Miss! Politoed! No! Ow, that did a lot. It doesn't two-hit KOs, though. It doesn't two-hit KOs from here, I don't think. Or, like, it'll, it will two-hit KOs, but I think we kill him. He's Leftovers! Right? He's Leftovers. He's not weak to Spalsy Regirock! Let's fucking go! Click the Scald button- Oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit. Uh, please attack into the Regirock. I hope that's how that works. <laughs> I hope that's how that works. Please don't attack the trainer. <laughs> I- Oops. <laughs> Whoops. Please don't- uh, Please don't Scald Karthik. Karthik doesn't need to get Scalded. Just- uh, Just the fucking rock. <laughs> please kill the rock. <laughs> Whoops. Did we pull that out of our ass? Did we pull this out of our ass? Boys? If we get a skull burn, it's game. Come on, Polly Toad. Kermit the Frog. Come on, come on, come on. Skull burn, skull burn, skull burn. Aww. But we dodged. We lived anyways. <laughs> I think we lived that anyways, but like, yay. Actually, that's single target. That might not have, that might have killed us. Also, it attacked, okay. Well, I did it again, but it's fine. That might have, I don't know if that killed, oh, well. Fuck, fuck you, Polly Toad, then. Fuck you, bro. Uh, yay! We gotta, we gotta, we win! We gotta win! Yeah! That went from getting 4 0 to winning. Uh, I'll take his lead card, sure. Alright! We did it! We did it! We did it! We did it! Yeah! So let's do it again! Same team! Rock out! So, what do we know? We know that Horsey is fucking terrifying. Horsey is very scary. Scary, very scary Horsey. Um, Regirock is not weakness policy, which means it's not gonna murder me. Crocodile is Intimidate, so then his win- he's based his team around winning with Spectre, then. Because he doesn't have win con Regirock, and he's not, like, Anger Point Crocodile, which, like, I thought could be a thing somehow, I don't know. Um, or, like, weakness policy Dynamax Crocodile. So, I think he's based his entire team around winning with Spectre. So, if that's the case, then Persian Mammal Swine need to come to this next game. Honestly, Persian Mammal Swine reign. Yeah, I kind of like that. Or do I lead rain? Do I just lead rain right off the bat? I kind of like lead rain because it stops the same lead. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's do that. I like that one because he's not. Yeah, I like that one. Let's do that. I think we could actually win this, boys. It might actually be winnable. <laughs> it might actually be winnable. Dude, let's fucking go. Uh, no, okay, Lefty's Regirock is interesting to me. I really thought that, like, weakness policy kind of fucked up my team, especially because my team had so much coverage to murder Regirock, or to, like, give Regirock the boost that didn't do a lot of damage, like Earthquake. I have two ground types. Drampa Cutie, not Cutie Fly, what is your name? Comfey? 
Oh, did my nicknames not go into VGC? Oh, that's not cool. I didn't like that. Man, why doesn't Kermit get to be Kermit? Oh, Cloud9. I'm still faster. Oh, that's... Just, oh, but his Kumpay's gonna outspeed me then. Ew. Okay. Okay. I think I can... Is switching out Dreadnought a play here? Not really. How do I kill things? Maybe I... Maybe I just helping hand murder the Kumpay. I think that has to be my play. It's just murder this Kumpay. I think that has to be my play, because I don't know how else I get around this Kumpay. I also don't know why I don't I helping handed, because realistically, if I icy winded, it it fucked, it broke a sash, it broke a potential sash. But I think the sash is on Whimsicott. So now that we're D Max, we'll eat we'll eat the Giga Drain that's coming our way. We'll eat the Giga Drain that's definitely coming our way, and then we get rid of the Kumpay. It's faster than us. Please don't Dynamax the Kumpay. Oh no, is that what's gonna happen? Uh oh, are we getting Dynamaxed? Uh oh. Are we getting Dynamax Kumpay? Dynamax Drampa. Holy fuck, that thing is big. Jeez. Okay. What do you do? I don't know what these Pokemon do. <laughs> I know what Kumpay does in singles. I barely know what Drampa does at all. Oh, okay, so we didn't Giga Drain. Are you Sash? Are you Sash? Nope, you're dead. Okay, so we're not getting Giga Drain. What do you do, Drampa? <laughs> I'm scared. What does Drampa do? <laughs> Help. I need an adult. Okay, so we lose the HP. Max near near more near near. Okay. Into the frog! No! <laughs> no, into my froggy. Froggy. Wait, no, my froggy. Okay. So we still get the attack drop, but we didn't take the damage on Dread though. I can still helping hand like punchy punch into the thing. We just need to break we just need to break shit for Mammal Swine to win this, and we could actually win this here. Crocodile! This is fine. I can see him protecting. I could oh my god, please stop intimidating me. This is just straight up not cool. So I can okay, expecting the crocodile to protect, I'm going to helping hand and uh max knuckle into the drampa this gives me an attack boost that'll kind of just negate the intimidate we just got it'll do a decent chunk to the drampa Ooh, so you're intimidate shuffling me eh into the regirock i just said a eh. oh no oh dear lord no oh no helping hand into the punchy punchy move this is fine into punchy punchy punch yeah punchy punchy punch in the nose Okay, that did a noticeable amount of damage, which is good. His team just loses to, to thing, to, to Mamoswine. So we, as long as we get rid of this Regirock, we might actually be okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's bad. That's bad. That one's bad. I didn't, Max Strike. Oh, that's normal type. No, my froggy! No! My frog! Now that lowers my speed. Okay, okay, okay. Potentially winnable. Still winnable. Still winnable. Leftovers Regirock. So we both have one more turn of Dynamax, I think. Yeah, because I, I... Okay, what do you have? I didn't put Fake Out on this thing. I do a Foul Play, though. I could Foul Play Stone Surge, and that should kill the Drampa. Because plus two attack, and then my, plus, or my minus one Stone Surge should knock out the Drampa. Right? You'd think. I think. I think. Let's go with that, because I think that play makes sense to me. That play makes sense to me. Cat. Uh, so we're going to click Foul Play on the Drampa, and we're going to click Rock Fall into the Drampa, because while the... Uh, I, oh, I guess I kind of need the rain. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. I feel, like, I, I feel like getting rid of this Drampa is a lot more important than getting rid of the rain. Foul Play. Bang! That didn't do enough. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, boy. Curse. That's scary. I don't like that. I don't like that. I have charm. I have charm. I have charm. And charm lowers attack. So he just raises defense, but he won't actually be doing any damage to me. And then Rockfall comes up. Please kill. Please die. Squish! Squish. It didn't die. It literally didn't die. That's bad. That's really bad. 
That's really bad. It didn't die. That's bad. <laughs> Shit. Max strike into my cat. Is it into my cat? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. I really needed the kill there. I don't think that crit mattered at all. Um, I really needed that to kill Dr or Dreadnought. You, you kind of let me down, buddy. I'm going to be honest. You kind of let me down. You kind of let me down, bro. Fuck. Okay, Drampa's terrifying. Schwammo mine. Go. So what's the pl what's the best plan of attack here? We click Earthquake? We're faster than both of these, these hooligans. We're faster than both of them. So I could... Actually, I think I just click Crash. Or I click Shard. I think I click Shard into the, the thingy. The that guy. I think I click Shard into the, into the Drampa. And then I just click Liquidation into the Regirock and try and get as much damage off as possible. Um, it's not looking good. I really needed that rock fall to kill. I really needed that rock fall to kill. Weakness policy Drampa. That's scary, but good to note. Oh, because he could drain and kiss himself too with the comfy. Okay. Okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I see you. I see you. I see you. Um, I guess I could see an intimidate shuffle here if he wanted to. No, protect. Oh, it's probably protect into like fighting move into my mammal swine, in which case I lose. Uh, in which case I lose. Unless I crit liquidation. Yeet! That didn't do any damage. The health bar didn't move. The health bar did not move, boys. Uh, and there's the body press into my mammal swine. Yep, that's over. It's over. Ah, fuck. That, that rock, the rock fall not killing lost me the game. The rock fall not killing lost me the game. That was bad. Fuck. Um, as we just click, uh, I'll click rock slide in hopes that we flinch the Reggie rock to death. That's, that's the goal here. That's the goal. Rock slide. Yeah. Flinch. Flinch the Reggie rock. Flinch the Reggie rock. Flinch the Reggie rock because it'd be funny. Please flinch the Reggie rock because it would be really funny. Body press. I did not flinch the Reggie Rock. We are going to die. We died. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. So that's like all of his adaptations for Rain. Though. That's like all of them in one. That's all of them right there. Because like body press. Okay. So we need Politoed alive to deal with the Reggie Rock. We need Politoed alive to deal with the Reggie Rock. We need the cat around to beat the Spectre. We also need Mammal Swine around to beat the. I feel like that four was my best bet, except just leading the other two. I feel like if I lead not rain, I feel like if I lead not rain, I might actually have a better chance. I feel like if I lead rain, I have a better chance than if I didn't lead rain. Because Tangrowth, Tangrowth is nice for Crocodile and the Reggie Rock. It forces out a D-Max Dram, oh, but we're not, we're not Spadef, so we'll die. We don't help with the Spectreer. We kind of help with the Whimsicott. Ah, uh, I'm really scared of that Spectre. I think he brings it back for game three. So I kind of want a Persian Mammal Swine and then Rain in the back, because he's shown how he beats Dreadnought. Maybe, I, do I Politoed Tengrowth? Is that a thing? Because Politoed offensively isn't bad. <laughs> like, honestly, Scald is kind of free against this team. But Dreadnought just claims in the ring. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do Persian Mammal Swine, Politoed Dreadnought. I think that's my best bet. Talonflame doesn't do jack here. Talonflame doesn't do shit. This was here to stop Cobalt. So, Tangrowth helps with the ground and the rock type. That kind of annoyed Dreadnought, funnily enough. But this just claims a kill, whereas my only breaker then is Mammal Swine. Mammal Swine kind of breaks for Dreadnought better than Dreadnought breaks for Mammal Swine. We're gonna lock it in. We're gonna lock it in. I feel like in my head that makes sense. Because Mammal Swine breaks down his team to a point where Dreadnought could win, or it forces out all the utility he would need for Dreadnought in the back. So as long as he doesn't pick up a KO off turn one, we could actually be fine. We could be more than fine. Uh, Whimsicott Spectre. There it is. Okay, okay, okay. We can deal with this one. We know how to deal with this. We know how to deal with this one. <laughs> we know how to deal with this one. This one's, this one's scary, but we know how to deal with this one. We click Snarl, we click Snarl, we click the Snarl button. We click the Snarl button on the Spectre, and then do I click Crash? I kinda wanna click Crash, or I click Rock Tomb. Do I click Rock Tomb? What do I click Rock Tomb for? Why would I click Rock Tomb? 
Rock Tomb doesn't give me a whole lot. I click Crash. I kind of like Crash. I can see Protect coming out. I'm really scared of that Protect. I'm going to Crash in the Whimsicott. I'm going to Crash in the Whimsicott. Where AV Mammoth Swines will chew any hit from anybody. He's going to Dynamax the Spectre. Both of these Mons live a hit. Both of these Mons live one hit guaranteed. So, we'll be guaranteed to mess with the Spectre a bit. Spectre Dynamaxes. We'll be able to, we'll be able to do something. Unless he's Hyper Beam. Oh, fuck. If he's Dynamax Hyper Beam, we'll get trouble. That can be scary if he's Dynamax Hyper Beam. But I think we're okay. Max... Oh, wait. Okay, so Protect comes out. No Tailwind. That's fine. Protect. Max... How did I know? How did I know? How did I know? How did I know? How did I know that he was going to be Max Hyper Beam? How did I know? How did I know? I should have realized that. Should have thought about that. Oh, well. Um, and I definitely should have Rock Tuned, and I missed. Oh, I didn't miss. Okay. Um, yeah, I... Oh, I... God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, I lose. <laughs> uh, I, I cannot win this game. There's no universe where I win this game. Can I stop eating Joy-Con Drifter? I have to Politoed here. I have to Politoed. Do I... Hmm. This raises an interesting question. Do I Dynamax Mammoth Swine here? Do I Dynamax Mammoth Swine here? Here's my thinking, right? Dreadnought still wins the game. If I Helping Hand Dynamax Mammoth Swine, if I Dynamax Helping Hand Mammoth Swine, I can get rid of the Spectre. I might have to do that. And see if I can just win with just raw Dreadnought on the back. We're gonna max... I was not touching my things there. We're gonna max Quake to raise our Spadef. I... This is scary. This might be an entire throwaway of the game. I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty. This might be an entire throwaway of the game. But, in my head this makes sense. Because we, we get the Spadef boost. We could we could even kill it here. And the Spadef boost also is Ah, I don't know. This, this was probably... I don't know if I had a better play, though. I don't think this is a good play. I don't know if I had a better play, though. I don't know what my out is here. Uh, Phantasm, please go into Mammoth Swine. Thank you. We're AV. Ow, that did half. Okay, but we get the Spadef boost here. We get the Spadef boost here off of the, uh, off of the thingy. We get the Spadef boost off of the Mac ground. Moonblast into my Mammoth Swine. Please stop. We get the Spadef... Stop! Please stop lowering all of my stats that don't matter. <laughs> It hurts my feelings when you lower my stats. We get the Spadef boost off of Max Quake. Yeet! No, it didn't die. It literally... Oh, it's gonna die to sand. It's gonna die to the sand. It... I didn't get... I didn't set up the sand. It can't die to the sand because I didn't set up sand. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Okay. Okay. Uh, Politoed has to stay alive. Politoed has to stay alive. So I can protect... Oh, but he's gonna kill me. He's gonna pretil he's gonna kill me if he doubles, so I can icy wind then. Ah, oh, I wish I could ice shard. He's gonna kill me here. Because even if Mammoth Swine lives, he has to attack me with Whimsicott. So then I pick up the kill with Politoed on the Spectreer and the Whimsicott. So then I'm better off clicking Max Hailstorm on the Whimsicott. I think. If either of these attack go into Politoed, we're okay. Yes! Frog! Okay, Frog. Oh, I probably should have protected there. I probably should have protected there then. That was my better play. Um, yeah. Spectre is gonna... Oh, fuck. Moonblast into... Yeah. No, I should have protected the Politoed like my gut was telling me to. Live! <gasps> we lived! Politoed! Politoed! Kermit the Frog! Let's fucking go, dude! Oh, fuck. We... Wait, I threw. I threw, and you're gonna see why in about five seconds. You're gonna see why I threw in about five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Right about now. That's where I threw. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, that too, he died. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I gotta stick to singles, man. I gotta stick to singles. I'm not good at this shit. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm really not good at this shit, bro. <laughs> I gotta stick to singles. Ah, oh, you brought the crooked out red dragon again. Alright, alright, hello. Um, I really gotta stick to singles. <laughs> I'm not good at this shit. <laughs> okay, we gotta double into the Reggie Rock. We gotta double into the Reggie Rock for a chance to win. I'm oblivious, let's go! Okay, yeah, we just gotta double into the Reggie Rock and just hope it dies. We just got to hope it dies. Um, which it probably will not. But I don't know if we have a better play other than just hoping it dies. And if he protects the Reggie Rock, he wins. And uh, there's not much I can do about it. There's really not much I can do about it here. Please don't protect on the Red Rock. Crooked Grid Outpract. Please don't protect on the Red Rock. Please don't protect on the Red Rock. Please don't click protect on the Red Rock. Yeah, he didn't click protect on the Red Rock. Okay, now we need to kill it. Yeah! In the nose! Did like 60. Not 60. Did like 40. Okay, that Mammal Swine. Click the round move. This is winnable. 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 Boys, it's winnable. It's winnable. Be cursed. We might be able to kill here. We might be able to kill. We might be able to kill him here. I don't think we're gonna be able to kill him here. I'm thinking about it in my head. I don't know what we do next turn. Spamble Swine doesn't that doesn't do the thing. Yeah, in the nose. Yeah. He dies. He dies. We can win this. We can win this, boys. We can win. It's winnable. It's always winnable. It's always winnable. Let's go. It's always winnable. It's always winnable. <laughs> Let's go! He's gonna die next- Oh no, he doesn't get leftovers. We're gonna win! We're gonna win! We're gonna win! Okay, Mammal Swine on, 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 on Big Man's. Dude, Dynamax Mammal Swine. Okay, okay. So we click Liquidation on the Reggie Rock. Can't miss. We click Ice School Crash on, on, the, on the dog. On the dog. We win! We can win, boys! Unless there's some magical bullshit that I don't know about. I think we win this. I think it's winnable. We have an ice type and a water type against a rock type and a ground type. If I'm not good at math, but that shit adds up to me. That shit adds up to me. Yes, sir. Come on. Come on. Darkest Lariat into my Mammo Swine. Live! Oh, no. Oh, no. I didn't think about him. I, I kind of forgot my Mammo Swine didn't have any health. I'm going to be honest. Oh, no. Okay, Dreadnought, can you live an earthquake? My guy, my man, Pascal, Pascal the Dreadnought, can you forget about me? He protect as I attack to get more hail damage, but you also take hail damage. Aw, uh, come on, bro, come on, bro. Come on, I, I, I don't. Come on, uh... My guy. My man. My man Dreadnought. My main man Dreadnought. Miss! Live! Do something! Ah, damn. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I kind of forgot Memo's I didn't have health there. I don't think I could have won that then. No, I could have won that if I killed the Reggie Rock with Mammal Swine. Yeah, if I killed the Reggie Rock with Mammal Swine, I won. Oh well. Uh, GG's to Karthik. Karthik's a really good VGC player, so I'm not mad about that. We definitely could have won that if I didn't throw, but it's all good. I definitely don't know what I'm doing in this tier at all. Uh, we fall to one in three now, I think. I don't really, it's whatever. VGC is a good time, though. Uh, having a good time with it and whatever, so. If you guys enjoyed today's VGC set, Wi-Fi battle, whatever you want to call it, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe button as well. And with that, I'm going to hop on out of here. If you guys enjoyed your stay at Walt Neilanders. Until next time, my name's been Kurt, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. I'm out.